Hello. Hello. Today we talk about the yoga book. Oh, sorry. The Lenovo yoga book. Wait, I'm not. So we have it here on screen. It's a two in one tablet. It comes in two versions. It comes either in Android or Windows 10. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, so what is it? It's a it's an Android. Let's, let's start with the Android version. It's an Android based tablet. It has like a Intel Atom processor, four gigs of memory. Uh, blah 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 blah. It's just a regular Android tablet, except that it it opens up like a book, and one side here is the LCD, and the other side here is a Wacom tablet. And the Wacom tablet you can use with a stylus that it comes with. And you can do uh, drawing, writing, but it also doubles as a keyboard because underneath the Wacom layer, there's like a, a stencil of a keyboard which you can use with your fingery things to type. But there's no actual keys, so it's just touch sensitive. Um, like, look at this. It's, look at this. It says $549, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so it says it's starting starting at $649. I believe that's for the Windows version. So there's also a version with this thing. Rocky, stop. There's also a version with this thing that comes with Windows 10. Uh, right, with four gigs of memory and the same specs, right? I can't imagine you're wanting to run Windows 10 on an Atom with uh, four gigs of memory, but I've seen some reviews online on YouTube and, and people are doing it and they're saying for everyday tasks, it might be okay actually, uh, you know, cause it's got like a solid state. There's no mechanical drive in there. So you're gonna get a lot of speed up just due to that fact. Anyway, so 649 I believe is for the Windows version. This is This is Canadian dollars. And 549, I believe, is the uh, Android version. But man, that's expensive. So over Black, uh, over Black Friday, um, I had a family member down in the, in the US of A and I was able to get it for $275 US, which is only like $320 Canadian. So I got it for $200 less than what Lenovo is quoting at now, but I think that's high. I think, let me just check, let me just check. Let me see, let me check Amazon right now. Amazon.ca, uh, Lenovo book, Len uh, uh, Lenovo yoga book, yoga book. Okay, so it's, <laughs> yeah. I don't know where, I don't know where Lenovo gets off with these. I am on CA as well. I don't know where Lenovo gets off with these prices. Like, it's I'm look I'm seeing it for three ninety nine uh, Canadian now. Uh, by Lenovo on Amazon, so they really got to update their price. I don't know why they do that. That's just that's just you know like it just tells me you just you're either just suckering people that don't know any better or you just don't care about changing the price on your site. So do something about that, Lenovo. It's, you know, it's, it just makes you look stupid, really. Okay, 399, uh, I have it right here. So this came in for me around Black Friday, which is like three weeks ago. And what do I think of it? Well, I wanted to, st I wanted to stop uh, writing things down on paper and I don't know, just with no, with paper notebooks, I tend I was tending to leave them around a lot. Like I would leave them in one jacket and another jacket, and then you know I would say, oh shit, where did I put it? And I couldn't find it, so I grab a new one. But then the new one doesn't have the old notes, so I was like, okay, well, I started looking at the iPad Pro, and I was like, wow, it looks pretty good online. 
uh, and I was able to go to the Apple store today just to check out the accuracy of the pen because that's really all I wanted was just a like pen a pen input that was fairly accurate and felt a little like you know more natural so anyways I got the Lenovo book and what do I think of it well besides having to do like five updates like right away in a row that took it took a long time to get this thing updated to the late to its latest version which is i believe uh, android 7 uh about yeah 711 is the latest uh version available for this ting if i do a system update now i have the latest version that's this is probably it for this guy i don't see it getting any more android updates maybe security updates possibly but not uh not Android updates. It would be great, but I don't know, whatever. So there it is. It's a the 10.1 inch LCD. I mean, it's fine for me. I'm not a pixel peeping type guy, really. Just, it looks good. I mean, what else can I say? It looks good. And um, here is the Wacom tablet. So besides the normal things that you can do, you can extend it up like this, which is nice, like tent, right? You can stand it up like this, like book style, which is kind of cool. And then if you're in, let's say, Google, Google, right? Okay, I'm in Google, right? Oh man, the light's kind of bad. And then if, if I hit like text input, right? Oh, I'm on the, I'm on the on-screen keyboard right now. One sec. So there I have the illuminated, it's not an LCD keyboard. It's just like a, a style, like a, I don't know what it is. It's underneath the Wacom tablet. It just lights up right underneath it. Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Stylus? No. I don't freaking know. Anyways, but there's no actual keys. So... You can enable uh, haptic feedback on the Wacom tablet when you're hitting a key, or you can uh, just default it to a sound. I just want to default it to a sound A because um, I don't want to waste any more battery than I have to, and the sound to me is good enough. So that you have that, right? So blah, 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 blah. And then what you have, what you have. You don't have anything, I have it. I have the Bamboo Paper Rocky. So I have bamboo paper, right? So you can take like a, a clean, can you guys even see that? You can take, whoa, that's just gonna, whoa. I'll see if I can get this set up a little bit better. So you have a clean, let me let me turn, bring down the thing. Of, Rocky, get out. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Live as it happens, my friend. There's no magic. There's no magic editing in these vid videos. Okay, let me just bring it all the way down. Is this better? I mean, this might maybe just a little bring it a little bit up. How about that? That might be better. Stupid freaking camera. I mean, the backlight. Okay, so with that you get the stylus. Now the stylus is is a Wacom. There's no battery, there's no power needed. It uses the uh, EMF, right? Electromagnetic frequency whatever. Can you can you write on the bamboo thing? Well, yes and no. You can enable something in the tablet that en enables you to use the um, that enables you to use this on here, but it's very, it's it's not very accurate at all. It sucks, I wouldn't recommend it. But what you can do is, let me bring you guys down here. This might be better. Okay, so I have that. I hit this button right here. That turns it into tablet mode. You can see that the keyboard went out. And now I can just, do this. Oh, you guys can't see squat. No, you can't see squat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Live, live. Just need like a tiny bit, like that. Okay, that, that, that might work. Or not. Okay, so this is the Wacom keyboard. I'm gonna just do this. Do, 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 do. You can't see it. Son of a. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can you see that? Yeah, now you can see it. So here's my surface, my pen, my uh, writing surface. Right, there's me in the reflection, and I'm just, I'm just doing this. Right, let me get a thicker, thicker pen. Boop, boop. This ain't no Casey Neistat video, that's for sure. So you can see, you can see that as I write down here, I write down there. As it's actually pretty accurate. Um, I'm going to not mess with you. Okay, like I'm not an artist by any way, by any means. But it is pretty accurate. So let me show you something. I'm just going to do something here and you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to flip it this way, right? And I'm going to flip that that way. I'm going to go to a new page and I'm going to just write something. I'm going to say, hello, my name is Grumpy. So you can see that. It's pretty accurate. This is a test. Of the emergency broadcast system. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, there you go. It's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty. Now, P R E T T Y. Good. So there you have that. So what can I say about the, let me just bring this back here. What can I say about the writing input? Well, there's a couple of things that are, there's a, there's, it's more minor. It's, I mean, it's good, it's accurate, but there's a couple of things I, I wish, you know, Rocky, stop. Here, all right, the, one, the dog wants to come up. The dog wants to come up. Look, look at this guy. Look, look at him. What? Yeah, talk to the people. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, you want? Yeah, do you like the yoga book? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do Do you want one? No. Do you want food? Oh yeah, I want food. 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 Yeah. Okay. Anyways, what's good? Let's just get into it. <laughs> We're already like twenty minutes into it. I haven't gotten into anything. Um, design, great. These hinges, like these metal watch band, they call it watch band or something. It just looks like a watch band, but it's a pretty cool design. It's built really well. Uh, it's very light. Um, what else? It's, it's kind of difficult to open with one hand because there is no sort of a, uh, indent for a finger or a little tab. So you see, like I'm trying to open it right now with one hand and I, I can do it. It's just whatever I can do it. Right. There you go. We all, we, we all like to complain about bullshit these days. So, um, the writing aspect of it is okay. Now, because you're writing on the other side, right? So you got to remember, you're always writing on the Wacom side. You, you can't write on the, you, I mean, you can use the stylus on the display, but it's terrible. The it's it's you, forget it. It's not going to happen. It's it's very 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 laggy if you try to write directly on the screen. Um, so it's not ac it's not good enough for uh, writing accuracy. So you're always going to be writing on the Wacom side, which which means your you know your brain has to you know when you hover over it, you can see when I hover over on the Wacom tablet, I can see the little dot on the screen where, I, where the writing will begin, where my uh, pen is. So your brain kind of has to just make that quick 
oh yeah, okay, well, I'm writing here, but it's actually showing up over there. Um, but it's not too bad. I mean, if you have like a ruled paper thing, you're not gonna always be exactly right on the line, but it's, again, it's for notes and it's also for drawings. Like uh, if I'm setting up like a server or if I'm, if I'm setting up like a network or something and I just quickly wanna draw out, Rocky! I just quickly want to draw out, let's say, a, a quick design. So I'll just, right, see, I can't, can't. You don't want to do it on the, uh, you don't want to do it on the thing. If I just want to uh, draw up a quick design, I'll just do this. Do, 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 Oh, let's draw some clouds. Everyone likes clouds these days. Everything is cloud based. So let's just draw. Okay, this is a shit drawing. But I can really easily, whoa, reflection. But I can really easily just draw diagrams. It's very accurate. I find it easier to draw di like diagrams or pictures than it is to write, but the writing's not bad. So um, would I recommend it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I don't like spending money on apple products so and i went to go see the ipad pro and it's this is nice this is exactly like a notebook it's it's pretty narrow the ipad pro is like just kind of fat it's much fatter but i'll tell you the writing input on the ipad pro is it's pretty freaking good man uh but who, i don't want to give app i don't really want to give apple any money i don't know it's not that i hate them it's just that i don't know i just find that uh, Apple's kind of annoying. So, the yoga book. Um, I'm going to continue to use it to take my notes. And I have taken notes. I've actually brought it on four, four or five meetings with me. And I've been writing and writing the notes. And I've been using bam the bamboo paper for the most part. I'm not, uh, I'm not too much of a Microsoft. <laughs> this is sounding terrible. I'm not an Apple fan. I'm not really a Microsoft fan. And I'm kind of up in the air about Linux. So, I mean, if I, I mean, pressed, I'll definitely run Windows over uh, OS X. Uh, but I'm writing the notes on bamboo paper, which is a Wacom thing. And then I can just take a snapshot of it and email it to me. But I'm finding I don't even need to do that because I'm just writing the notes in the meetings. And then I'm using those to type up like a form, more formal email or I'm using those notes to do something else with it. So it's not like I need a direct input from the notes and I wouldn't even want to get into like writing to text. Like it's just going to take me another five minutes to properly use those notes in a properly formatted email for a client or something like that. Um, so it's pretty good. The battery life, Rocky, come here, sit, sit, sit. Don't give me guff about the dog. He's got mental problems, okay? I'm not being mean to him. Um, uh, the battery life is really good. Uh, I, they say like 12, 14 hours or something. I haven't had the need to even try to use it that long, but I'm, I'm getting, yeah, like I'm getting good battery life off of it. I would say it would probably at least go, I haven't watched any movies or anything, but it would, I'd say it would at least go like eight to 10 hours. Of, of moderately heavy use. So anyways, that's it for the Lenovo yoga book. Oh, it has Dolby Atmos. What the hell, like what the hell do I need Atmos? Like, am I really like watching a movie through these speakers or watching something through these speakers? Like a, a YouTube video, but do I really need Dolby Atmos for a YouTube video? I don't know, a lot of people are messed up. It's got a micro USB for charging and it has a mic, my, my, micro HD, mini HDMI. I think it's mini, right? Mini HDMI. And it has uh, expandability for SD card slot of up to 128 gigs. So that's pretty good. Apparently this USB can, uh, mini connection will support host mode. So you can buy, I actually did buy a host uh, adapter from mini to um, A or an A or whatever. Uh, B or whatever? No, A. 
yeah, so I can plug in like a USB key. I haven't tried it yet, haven't had the need for it. Uh, Wi-Fi, blah, 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 it's good screen. The Wacom tablet is questionable. It may or may not work with you. Like today I was on the subway and it would have been just nice to just, it would have been just nice to write on the screen because you really can't, you really can't do this on the subway. Like you can't, I mean, you can have both open like this, but right, hold on. Like you can like do this and have it writing on that side. But the problem is your move, like your hands moving too much. So your accuracy on staying on the lines kind of goes out the window if you're like this. It's really got to be flat for you to be, to write anything that you want to be, you know, properly lined up or if you need to be following proper lines, it really needs to be sitting flat. So Lenovo, I, I, I wish, I hope you guys come out with another version of this and maybe you lose the Wacom tablet altogether and you go to an iPad, iPad Pro type based where it's just one with a really accurate stylus. I think I would prefer that. Um, the keyboard functionality is, is kind of cool. I haven't had the need to use it too much, but I will let you guys know on typing. Um, if you guys want to see a lot of people have some issues with typing, saying that, oh, you know, you get used to it pretty quick, you get used to it pretty quick. Let's just quickly see how fast I can... Is anyone watching? No one's ever watching. Okay, so let's see if I can actually type anything here. Beep. Can you guys see anything? I don't freaking know, man. Friggin' lighting. Lighting. Lighting's a pain in the ass. You need... You need 50,000 lights for everything. Okay, so let's set it out. Let's see, I'm gonna go into Chrome again. I'm gonna turn this up just a tad. Okay. You guys ready? Actually, no, you know what? I'll go into Word. Yeah, I got Word on here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I don't use, I mean, I use it, but to open documents mostly. Uh, okay. Let me just quick, let me just do some of this stuff here. Let me open up a new document, new blank document. Okay, document one. I'm gonna put this here so you can kind of see, right? I'm gonna put it like that, doop. Let's see how quickly I can type on this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the keyboard. I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna type. Again, it's too bright. It's a stupid freaking camera, yo. It's too bright. I'm gonna type in. Um, hello, my name. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna put it back. Hello, my name. No, no I'm gonna say. Um, Okay, yeah, the quick brown fox jumps over lazy dog. Okay. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so for some reason it's not giving me any audio input, but I'm done. And it's it says instead of quick, it said quiz, but brown fox jumps over lazy dog. So it's not bad. I'll do... Uh, I, this camera's kind of getting in my way, so I'm gonna go here. So, you know, you you know you want to. So let's go here. Uh, this is a test of the emergency broadcast system. What did it get? Here is a T of the emergency broadcast system. So it's not bad. I mean, there's it, it, a couple errors there. Um, I'll try that again. I think I have the sound off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so that's the sound actually helps me. So let me turn the sound up. I'm gonna backspace. Okay, this is a test of the EMERG broadcast. This is a test of the emergency broadcast seat mate. So you can see that there's some some errors there just one actually so 10 percent 
Also, I find when you're typing the first character, there's a bit of lag. So like T uh, came up that time. Okay, so let's try um, um, both. See? Oh, got it. But okay, let me try that again. So both Apple. No, I screwed that one up. I got, I got stage. I got stage fright. Both Apple and Microsoft really suck. But yeah, I screwed that one up big time. I gotta get this thing away from me. Okay, so both Apple and Microsoft suck pretty bad, but so does Linux kind of. Both Apple and Microsoft suck pretty bad, but so does Linux kind of. So if you take, if you take your time a little bit, and I, I, I notice you can't, you can't, I mean, at least I can't, I don't think, I don't think you really can though. You can't really, whoa, whoa. You can't really just type and look at the screen. You need to look at the keyboard because as you're typing, your fingers are kind of drifting a little bit in and out and up and down and you'll hit the next key. So you need to keep your eyes on the keyboard and the typing will be okay. Anyways, this is getting too long. I'll see you guys in the next one. Phone's ringing. Dog's going crazy. See ya.